I have dove in most oceans around the world, but only a handful of times have I ever seen mantas. So when you're here and you see a manta approach you for the first time, it takes you a little bit by surprise because these mantas, they're not regular mantas. These are giants. As a Mexican, nothing makes me prouder than to come to a place like this. Revilla Gijedo National Park is the largest marine national park in North America, and it's Mexican. This park was created five years ago, and in that time, nature has come back. But also the ocean ecological processes that keep this planet alive. To come on this expedition, I was hoping to get one of the scientists that did the initial census of biodiversity to declare this a national park. And Dr. Frida Lara has become my friend because of all the work that we've been doing in Baja. I've been hanging out with Frida and learning a lot from her, and I was thrilled when she agreed to come and spend a month with us diving in Revillaje Head. Giant mantas has two ecotypes, the black and the chevron. The black are one of the only examples of melanism in marine environment. So they have a high concentration of melanism in their cells, and that's what makes them to be black. It's a very slow growth species. They just have one embryo inside the female and it takes around one year to give birth. They get maturity between 10 to 12 years of maturation. So that makes them very susceptible for fishing. If the industrial fishing puts a lot of pressure on these species, they never have the chance to grow and get mature and they never have the chance to recover. Once the species are not able to recover, we have an unbalanced ecosystem. So the ocean is, for example, providing oxygen to the atmosphere because we have all this plankton that is floating in the ocean and is producing photosynthesis. So if we lose these key species and we change the balance in the trophic chain, that's how we lose the services that the ocean is providing us. Understanding that large-scale, highly and fully marine protected areas is a simple way to restore our planet to its original health. Having places like Revi gives me a lot of hope. These are places that allow not just the animals and the species to recover, but also the ecological processes that keep planet Earth alive.